Now, cities across the metro are getting ready for 4th of July celebrations, and some are doing those classic fireworks shows, but others are changing it up with drone shows, and Denver is one of them. Our Courtney Fromm has a closer look tonight. Well, that drone show will be happening right here in Civic Center Park with the state capitol as the backdrop. This is something new for Denver. They say they want to see how people react to all of this, but just over in Inglewood, they're going on with a regular fireworks show. You'll see a change for the show in the sky at the Indy Eve July 3rd celebration in Civic Center Park. Thought it was time for to switch it up a little bit. Instead of bangs and booms, people will see drones create a quieter light show. It's a little bit more sensory friendly. So whether that's pets or kids or people that, you know, just don't like the lo um, loud noises. With a sky full of shapes and a storyline for the holiday. But you might see the blue bear or you might see Blucifer up there on July 3rd. Eric Lazari, the executive director for the Civic Center Conservancy, tells us after more than a decade of traditional fireworks, they wanted a different experience. We ask that everybody come with an open mind. Like we said, this is an experiment. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see what the feedback is from the crowds. Just down Santa Fe, the city of Inglewood, sticking to original illumination. Fan favorite. Um, people just really like the big boom. Tony Arnaldi, the event supervisor for the city of Inglewood, says they did consider drones, but decided to stick with the fireworks because of bigger crowds. And with no fire restrictions currently in place, she says the show is expected to go on rain or shine. We thought about it, um, talked a lot with different citizens in our city council, and just wanted to stick with the traditional fireworks show just because it can be enjoyed by a much larger span. Whether it's gunpowder based or newer technology to light up the sky, both shows are expected to last the same amount of time. We've learned this year that 15 minutes is about the max you can do with a drone show, um, just because of battery life and things like this. But we're super excited that we're going to do the the largest drone show ever done in Denver with 300 drones. So we're hoping for a very impactful, um, basically a 15 minute finale is what I'm hoping for. Now it's all based on the city and the county that you live in, depending on what types of fireworks they're going to do. There's lots of places just doing those traditional fireworks, but other places, of course, like here in Denver and then also in Longmont, they're also doing a drone show. And then some cities like up in Breckenridge are doing no fireworks at all due to the fire risks. But we do have a list for you on our website at KDVR.com that you can check out to see what's happening in your neighborhood. For now in Denver, I'm Courtney Fromm.